Greetings and salutations. We're back. I'm back to like look at episode the um the eighth and final episode of season one. You know, season of season fourteen of Doctor Who. But before we get to that, we are definitely who we are because we are. For you, with the episode Empire of Death. So, I had already had really pretty good uh, thoughts when it came to the previous episode, which was The Legend of Ruby Sunday. And I thought that acting for that one was pretty good. I liked the fact that we... Kn the thing I had always been, like, excited about was, like, say, hey, I would like if they had brought in, um, you know, villains or creatures from, like, very old school, from old older who, and, yeah. That having the character of Sutek was pretty awesome. Defeated him. I cast you into the time vortex. I sent you forward to your own death. Instead, I found a home. I clung to your infernal machine. And for so many years, I hid. I have traveled with you for all this time, riding the spine of your ship. Staring into eternity and evolving into my true godhood. And yeah. Um so but what was this about? Um in this episode, uh the fifteenth Doctor and Ruby Sunday attempt to stop the godlike Sutek from destroying all life in the universe. So one thing that he like you know how like when I when I mean destroy the universe one thing he does is he has conduits, sort of like the character of Susan Triad, um, to basically like say he uh, he in a way you know causes the death by in a way blowing the sands of death, which causes folks to turn into sand and in a way and evaporate. So, in a way, which causing a lot most of you know life on Earth and other galaxies to end a way to be um, evaporated. Even, you know, the Daleks. I, I gotta say, I was really, I kinda say I was impressed by this. I, I was, I really like this. And in the fact that, one thing that the episode does is in the fact that the villain, Sutek, he basically has control over the TARDIS. So it's not like, oh, you know, just, just go back in time and, you know, Stop, you know, trying to make it so that go back before they are able to get Sotek and all that. But one thing they have to do, but one thing that leads to another is, um, Doctor, Millie, and Ruby end up going to the future to find out who, um, Ruby's mother is. Because in a way, they can be able to figure out, like, okay, that would in a way be able to help them, you know, stop Sotek. And there are some things where I thought, okay, um, I thought it was pretty cool. And then, you know, we had some returning characters for the for the uh, company of Unit, whether it was also Rose. But, like, you know, now she's probably a mainstay for that the organization. The thing that made, made me think, huh, I'm not really sure, is, well, I, I kind of liked her character when she was introduced. I don't really think she, you know, besides, you know, just said, hey, it's the, hey, you know, hey, um, uh, hey, everybody, or, you know, like, you know, giving her a moment to do things. I don't really think she helped continue the story. And I, I kind of think emotionally, like, you know, that I, like, you know, everyone, like, even from units being dusted, a la Thanos in a way was, you know, like say, both dramatic and honestly visually cool. The... I do like how, like, at the same time, one thing that, you know, they have, the targets that they are using to be able to get to the future and all that was pretty cool in that it's, like, it has, like, say, all these little knickknacks that are from the, from the past, um, evolving different incantations. Regenerations of the Doctor. 
And yeah, I actually think that's a pretty cool idea since, like, you know, it's a memory of the TARDIS, so they're having to have memories of each version to be able to, you know, keep it all together. The ending I thought, okay, so basically they take us, you know, take everybody to get control back of the TARDIS, and but they take they put car suit tech and then they put and then they you know go for the time vortexes and all that which i thought was visually cool the thing that made me and then basically they cause you know since he's the bringer of death cause everything to be coming back to life i'll be honest the thing that like say like yeah it was awesome that they brought him back but at the same time i just like saying oh in the fact, I wish he could have been a enemy that could have been, like, say, like, oh, shit, he's back. But then again, I understand, like, say, why they would, you know, decide, like, you know, not keep him around again. Because eventually they say, like, say, well, well because there would always be that, say, like, say, oh, he was intimidating once and, like, wait. How is he going to be intimidating uh, a second time? Well, then again, this will be the second time. Uh, but I did, actually, I really did love the ending when we fought, when Ruby meets up with her mom. I thought, okay, you guys earned that sequence. It was great. And then, like, they have their interactions and all that, and have, like, say, hey, what had happened and all that. I thought, oh, you're going to be my... My little heart spoon. I thought that was really good. Um, uh, and I, I did love how at the ending of the special ending of the episode, how uh, Mrs. Flood is up on the roof and she is like saying, "Merry Christmas, everyone." But life goes on, doesn't it, ruthlessly? And what happens, you might wonder? Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. We have to come this way! Tess, we have to come this way! Someone's dead! I'm not going back! Nothing can stop us now. Night, night. And the story of Ruby Rose, Ruby Sunday, has ended. And I thought, I'm happy that she got it. They really got a happy ending. But at the same time, I'm kind of sad, you know, we won't perhaps see her character. But at the same time, I'm glad that that's how her story had come to an end. And that, like, well, how, you don't want to, if, you know, you have finished her main story. Like, yeah, like, if you have, you'd have to, like, you know, figure out like, another way to keep around. Because, you know, like she, she got had her character ending to make her happy. So, yeah. Overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. So, we'll definitely see you all next time. See you later.